Hey everyone, Ryan Lilly here with Old Town. We're at iCast 2023. We're really excited to unveil our newest innovation. It's the EPDL Plus Drive for the Big Water. So it is called the Old Town Sportsman Big Water EPDL Plus 132. What, what this is all about is versatility. It's one boat that does it all. It's a manual pedal drive. It's a power assisted pedal. And it also offers motorized cruise control. So when you think about your day of fishing, if you've got a really windy day with headwinds or a real strong current and you want to still go out fishing, and previously you probably would have had to consider those factors and be like, well, oh, it's probably not the best. I'll probably overexert myself getting to my fishing spot. I have to keep tide changes in mind, things like that. This allows you to cut right through winds, currents, um, you know, tidal conditions with ease and allows you to get to fishing and focus on the fishing. So I love this boat. I live in Maine. I do a lot of coastal fishing for stripers, uh, black sea bass, things like that. Now I can explore new waters where I probably wouldn't have the confidence to go with a traditional pedal drive. What's great about this is it comes with a 20 amp hour, 36 volt battery to power this system. And the reason why we went that way is it gives you a more dense uh, 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 power system. So really how that translates is for the same sort of power output in this battery, it would have required a 12 volt, 60 amp hour size, which is a lot bigger. So we're able to get that same power density and a smaller, lighter package. So that's why we went 20 amp hour, 36 volt. It's only eight and a half pounds and uh, takes up zero room in your boat. So that's why we went that way. I know we've got a lot of questions about that. The other question is, is, is this interchangeable? No, we pre-wired this hull uh, with safety features. So it's got a kill switch key that attaches to you. It also has a kill switch, kill switch located in the pod. So if you hit something while you're out there or if you fall out of the boat, the, the motor will shut off. You don't have that ability by taking the drive and putting it in a standard big water. So that's really why we're not offering the drive apart from the hull, is we pre-wired it with safety in mind. All right, so let's let's kind of give you a rundown. It's a 13 foot, two inch boat. We put it in the big water hull because this, this hull is all about big water. It's optimized to cut through waves, to cut through current, and to handle big water. And so we wanted to put our newest innovation coupled with the hull that will allow you to explore and go further and have more fun. And so we felt it important to put it in our flagship PDL model. So 13 feet, two inches, you have about a 500 pound capacity. Um, the drive is 34 pounds. The hull is about 90 and change and the battery is eight and a half. So very transportable on a truck bed, uh, a trailer, or if you've got a rugged enough uh, rooftop uh, system, you can, you can also transport it that way. It's got a nice spacious bow hatch for, for storing gear that you want to keep dry or if you want to get inside the hull for customization, things like that. It's got accessory tracks that are also dual purpose. You can hard mount on these tracks or you can use the, the, the cutouts with uh, your T-bolt accessories. You can rig fish finders, rod holders, you got pocketing for tackle storage, you got under the seat storage. Uh, you, you control it with a rudder control knob, a truck, trucker style ball here, so this is how you steer the boat. Nice, comfortable, breathable seat. And uh, a nice change we made to this hull in particular is we expanded the stern tank well. This is enormous now. As you can see here, we've got a Yak Attack uh, black pack in here. You can fit a lot of gear, so I can pit, put a uh, a large uh, cooler, I can put catch bags, I can put multiple crates, so a lot more space back here. We also offset the shallow water anchor location in the back, so that's a nice new feature for us. It used to be in line with the rudder and it would impact your rudder. Now it doesn't do that. So this boat's all about versatility. It's all about getting you to where you want to fish with confidence. And if you choose to manual pedal it, great. If you want e-assist, it will give you the power that you want, much like an e-bike. Or if you want to take your feet off the pedals, kick back, check some emails, re-rig your boat, have a snack, you can take your feet off the pedals and make it fully motorized as well. If you want to learn about this kayak, check us out, oldtownwatercraft.com. We will be doing a demo tour later this summer and fall. So if you check our website and you want to give this thing a test drive, come see us at one of these demo tours. We are starting to ship these in January of 2024, but you can pre-order one today. Come check us out at a demo tour. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to reach out to us, oldtownwatercraft.com. Uh, Kevin Henderson with Pelican International. We got the Wilderness Systems product here in our booth today. 
Um, so this is the Wilderness Systems Recon. Uh, fantastic fishing boat. So we actually got the full HD version with the pedal drive here. So this guy could actually pop down and lock into place for you to pedal. And then, uh, and then you can actually kick this up if you get into the shallow water. You can hit that pedal and it'll pop back up out of the way. You can release these and fold it down as well too. Pull a pin and pop that out. Um, so it's a very, very comfortable fishing platform with a nice high seat. You can stand up and cast from this. The big thing news for this year, the Recon will actually have a new swivel seat for this year. So it is similar to a car seat. You can pull on this to move it forward and back again. But you can actually swivel pivot around. You can seat with your feet over the side. Or if you want to access your gear into the back, you can turn it around and get into your back compartment. So I find this is a game changer for being able to get in and out of the boat and access stuff on the water. So you can actually walk out onto the water into the shallows, turn the sideways, slip on, and then simply pivot it up and you're ready to go. So fantastic way to go. Um, so this is a full HD version that actually comes with the pedal drive and a full rudder system and everything. I believe this one is $28.95, somewhere around there, for the full retail price of this. Um, rear storage compartment back here for your tank well, for putting a crate back here and stuff like this. And then you've actually got an area that's specifically set up to be a paddle park here, so you can tuck stuck your pair, spare paddle out of the way. Um, rear hatch back here, because you can have access. Some of the guys want a through bolt, put transit mounts and things like this on the back end back here, so you can do that as well too. So it does come up, uh, set up that it is pre-wired for a left hand control on here. Um, for some reason, if you want to, there is tube set up so you can rewire it over on the other side and you can put the steering control on the other side as well too. It also does have a built-in skid plate on the back end of the boat. There's a little plastic skid plate with two screws that holds in. If you're ever going to drag your boat, always pick it up on the front end and drag it that way. And if you have to, you can just replace the skid plate on the back end. So we do have this one decked out with a motor guide, uh, electric motor on here. So these are pretty cool that you can actually drop this down. You can set it for um, waypoints and stuff like this. You can also have it with an auto lock where it will hold you in place. So if you want to stand in fish and waves and wind are coming along, it'll actually hold you in that spot by GPS through satellite. So it's kind of cool. Um, you can put motors on the back, motors on the front, whatever you want. So cool. Hey y'all, uh, we're at the Native booth checking out a new kayak from them. This is the Titan X 12.5. It's brand new. Um, you know, this is my first time really seeing this and I'm excited about it for a couple different reasons. You know, kayaks are getting more innovative, right? Um, more accessories, you know, those hardcore bass guys are kind of have brought over into the kayak market where you're seeing trolling motors now in, in units and a lot of the you know the people who are going out kayak fishing are starting to kind of utilize these accessories and you know making it fun and more enjoyable but um, it's not like it's needed it's necessary but for this kayak hey it's make it makes it easy for you so if you want to rig up a trolling motor on the front um, they, they have the, the tools and already the access panels already built uh, for units. Same thing. Um, they're going to make this just a little bit easier for you to, to rig up. Uh, if you want to put a battery in here for trolling motor or units, um, everything's just more accessible, I could say, on this, this, this X pack. Um, but if you choose not to do that, if you're like, hey, Man, I don't need all this stuff. I just want to go out and enjoy uh, and, and, and not worry about all the accessories. This boat's perfectly capable um, of, of just going out and fishing and having fun and not adding any accessories to it. But another thing that's new about this one is, is the 360 seat that um, hasn't been on you know, a lot of the any other natives. And I think this is going to be really nice when you're going to turn and um, just maneuver around it's going to be able to completely spin around so if you want to grab something you can just spin your seat around instead of laying it back locks into place right there uh, and like you, like I said about the accessories you can just check it out down here I mean this thing is fully loaded um, got lights uh, they deck this out uh, 
for ICAST just to show you what it's capable of, right? We go back to the back. We've got a Yak Attack box right here. Another area right here for a battery, which I believe they have it on this back troll motor. Um, so it's just showing you, hey, if you want to put one in the back, you can. You can put one in the front, um, which is, is really, really cool. We've got the power pole, um, micros back here. And one other thing that I thought was interesting and, and I've had trouble with in the past is the rudder system down here. So they brought this rudder system over from uh, Bonafide, which is gonna, you know, able to break away. So if you want to drag this thing over rocks, it's not, you know, it's not just gonna stay there. It's gonna break away, which I'm a fan of. So fishing out of a kayak's fun, man. I mean, I enjoy it. I like to get into those places that, you know, you can't get a big bass boat in. And uh, I'm really excited about this, this X Titan. Um, I think it's a really well-built kayak and excited to see what y'all think about it. Hey, I'm Hastings Bloomer with Vibe Kayaks and Kayak Distribution. I want to show you the new Kubera Lite. This is a 10-foot, 6-inch thick drop stitch uh, hybrid paddleboard kayak. The unique thing is this pedal drive. So this is our impulse drive. It's a prop drive allowing both forward and reverse. But this pod can be removed a different pod put in to make it compatible with our X drive, a traditional fin style drive. So one has reverse, the other has a, a limited draft. Interchangeability give you what you want and need for your conditions. Um, additionally, this board has four of our accessory gear tracks, uh, allow anything from cup holders to camera mounts to rod holders to be very easily clicked into place and locked down. A nice teak looking EVA deck pad and our summit seat. Um, a lot of D-rings are on the side. We have a couple marked specifically to attach the seat, which you can see here uh, has the ability to adjust height. So if you want a little lower seating position and lower center of gravity for stability, you can pull these up and put this seat directly on the deck board or extend them to get an additional height. Um, one other unique feature about the impulse drive is its versatility. You can slide it up forward if you're a tall person uh, or you need to get it out of the way and you can bring it all the way back if you want it a little closer. Additionally, with the twist of a few screws, you can raise this and lower it to the height that you need. Um, on the back, we have a rudder for steering control and the rudder lift lines that when pulled, take the motor up and down. So, easy to get it out of the way if you need. Um, easy to deploy when you need to turn. On the right side of the seat, we have our steering control knob, which allows the rudder to move forward on left and right as you need to control the craft. All of this is, is housed and connected to the board with a very simple C-shaped rudder block mount, um, easy to put on, really stable, and its only means of attachment are these two straps on the deck. On the stern, we have more D-rings, more attachment options, and this product comes with a convertible SUP slash kayak paddle so you get an extra blade not shown here if you want to use it as a traditional kayak and a safety leash if you want to just take it out and use it like a paddle board with a really low profile deck you'll want a leash around your ankle and this is the most versatile product in paddle sports that is being debuted here at ICAST this year. How much does it retail for? This is gonna retail for $15.99. Uh, including that, the drive? Including the drive, yeah. So you guys? So as you guys know, I actually had a Riot 10 by Mako, uh, was it a Mako 10 by, by Riot? 
and I actually have a Shearwater 125. So this is basically combining both brands. The pedal drive is the old pe the pedal drive that I used to have on that kayak. You've seen me use it. You know how it works. You get instant reverse, and then of course you get that Vibe platform. So I think this is a very nice combination. Uh, we're gonna bring you more information throughout the day. I think this is a very cool setup, and I'll leave everything on the description so you can take a look and you know see if it suits you.